Hi again. And now I'm going to take you through the reporting section in Social Flow. Let's get started. When you first come into the reporting section, you'll land on this dashboard page. This is an overview page where you can view totals of engagement for each individual handle or all of your handles at once. I'm going to start here with a Facebook account selected. You'll also have some time frames you can choose. The seven day view is the first one by default. You can also click over to a two week view or a 30 day view like I've selected here. And this calendar icon will allow you to select a specific, uh, specific custom date range as you choose. Now we track all of the volume of publishing if you publish more or less in a given time frame here. And you'll see percentages outlining how much uh, change there is from the current time over the previous time. We also track the number of clicks and any change. The interactions are all of the engagement stats, um, not including the clicks. So for Facebook, that would include likes, shares, and comments totaled together in one number. We also show you a chart and give you a number of how much or how many new fans or new followers you've gained in that time frame. We don't track any unfollows or unlikes of your page. This audience engagement chart at the bottom will highlight the key hours of the days of the week in which you received a lot of engagement. So anytime there's a, a dark filled in square here, that's when you received a lot of engagement on your content. Now on the messages page, which I already have open here, this will allow you to filter all of your top posts and tweets by the different stat categories. Clicks, likes or favorites, shares or retweets, and over here on the right, in this three dot icon, you can also sort by video views if you want to look at video metrics for Facebook, 30 second views, 15 second views, etc. If any of these are worth publishing again, you can choose to recycle from this page, either individually using this recycle icon, or you can select your top three, four, five, etc., and recycle them all in a batch here. Now the link shortening page, this will allow you to put in a long URL here, shorten it using any link shorteners you have in Social Flow, and then take that short URL and put it in an email or in marketing collateral, and we'll still track the clicks on that short link, even if you didn't publish it out to social. In the downloadable report section, this is where you can export the data out of Social Flow for your own reporting needs. First, you go to Create Report, and you'll see all of the report options we have. The message report will give you a very granular look at all of your posts uh, or all of your tweets for any specific time frame that you'd like to choose. And it will include all the individual stats on those individual messages. You can also choose to include your external messages if you've had to publish outside of Social Flow for any reason. The label report is basically the same report, except it only includes the messages within that category or that label. And you can choose more than one label at a time to compare two different sets of content. Now, after some time using Social Flow, you may want to pull a week over week report or a month over month report. These two reports will give you high level views of the account or accounts and that given time frame that you'd like to review. So you'll see totals of engagement for each week or each month within that time frame, and all the percentage of change for each category as well. Now, all of these are Excel reports. Once you generate, you download from the main screen here, and you can sort your columns, produce sums or averages as you need to. If you like creating these reports, you can also set up a recurring version. This way, you only have to set it up once, and you can have the report emailed to you, say the first of every month, whenever necessary. And you won't have to log in and create one by hand. Well, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your client service rep or email us at support at socialflow.com. Thanks for watching.